How do you know when it is time to leave your marriage? I'm Leah Marie. I help women gain acceptance and rebuild self-confidence after divorce. There hey, you know, before I start this video, I just want to point something out because I've noticed uh, this trend with some of these videos. You notice how there's videos like this with women doing their makeup uh, or they could be shopping or trying on clothes or whatever it is. And the, at the same moment, they're giving some kind of message to women. The reason why women do this is because they're playing into the emotional uh, thing that women have going on. So they're using something very common to tap into the women. It's almost like, OK, look at me. I'm doing something that you're doing. I'm doing something that's important to you. So you need to believe what I'm saying, because, look, I'm just like you. I just wanted to point that out because I see this a lot. And like I always say, women are highly influenced by other women and women know what emotional triggers to pull with women to get them to listen to them, to get them to accept um, their opinion. But anyway, let's continue. There are many valid reasons to get a divorce, but here are some common signs to help you gain more clarity. Ask yourself if you really want the relationship to improve or if you've already checked out on some level. Ask yourself if you're married, what do the vows say? Aren't you supposed to go through everything, sickness and in health, good and bad and all that type of thing? Why is it so easy for women just to check out? Because society has made it so easy for them to check out. No fault, divorce, all these things. This is another reason why men don't want to get married to women these days. Because a woman can just wake up one day and say, you know what? I'm bored and I'm tired and I want to get a divorce. Not to mention all the things that she's going to take from the guy. What specific things would need to change? And are those changes likely? Has there ever been a version of this relationship that was healthy where both of your needs were being met? Or are you holding on based on hope or future potential? Besides love, can you feel respect, admiration, and trust towards your spouse? And the million dollar question, if you could skip past the discomfort of that post breakup period and you knew that everything could work out in your favor, would you still choose to stay? And that is nothing but a hypothetical situation, which has no basis in what the truth could be. That's just another way to say there's an excuse that I can use to divorce, because if I can't see into the future, then that's a reason for me to get divorced. If I can't see things working out, if it's not clear to me, then I can just get a divorce which makes no sense at all. If I could not go through all the pain and all the regret and everything after, would I stay? And the answer is for a lot of women, if they could just wipe all that off, they would just get divorced probably the next week after they got married. So that hypothetical type of thinking makes no sense. It just gives women excuses to divorce men. How do you know when it is time to leave your marriage? I'm Leah Marie. I help women gain acceptance and rebuild. How do you know when it's time to leave a marriage? Why is there even a thought process of leaving a marriage? But if you look at some men say, you know what? I want a prenuptial agreement. A lot of women will say, well, what do you mean? You don't trust me. You plan on leaving me. You think I'm going to leave or whatever the case may be. You see what I'm saying? See how it's like a double standard. If men come out with saying, I want you to sign this prenup, women are in an uproar. How dare you? Why would you think that you're already looking for an out? You already think the, the relationship of the marriage is going to end. But yet this is exactly what she's talking about. See, it's okay for women, but it's not okay for men. Again, this is another reason why men don't want to marry women, because women are not fully engulfed in their marriage. They're looking for any excuse to get out, any excuse to go be free, any excuse to go uh, throw a party about the divorce, any excuse to get a man's resources. This is what they're looking for. This is why men don't want to get married. They have women like this telling women, look for any excuse, basically. If you're not perfectly happy, get a divorce. 
being married and being in a or being in a long term relationship with somebody being committed to somebody is not easy. It's not about happiness. It's about commitment. You're not going to always be happy. You're not going to always not be bored. You're, it's it's being married and being in a committed relationship like that is mundane. After a while, it's 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 just repetitive. But but that's what you signed up for. If you don't want that, don't get married. But again, this is another reason, like I said, why men are choosing not to get married. 